The type of work I've always done has, has been has meant that I've been able to stay here, so I feel quite lucky to live in Southport, really. I like art that, that kind of, or paintings that um, allow you to escape for a, a split second. Just take yourself out of your life for a second and, and see how, you know, not always a positive thing, but you know, a, a, a serene thing, yeah. works and things and um, you know just down to the seafront and along the promenade and things you know it's uh, try and make every get every, any opportunity you know. when you're painting landscape works um, the, you know naturally you compare you'll always be compared um, to current and past painters, and, and it's uh, and if you think too much about that, it can be a daunting, it can be a daunting feeling. But um, I think it's important to, to take inspiration from the painters you love, and, and the paint, you know, and and but you've got to be conscious that you're creating your own look, your own style, your own, and, and it's important that because if you want to establish your mark, you know, you've, you've somehow got to. Um, develop your own style. It's it took a long time. It took a long time, a lot of trial and error. You know, I, I look at my original early paintings that when I first started, and you know, I, I cringe at the sight of them now, which I suppose a lot of artists do. Um, but you've got to kind of accept that that's the beginnings of where where you've got to now, and it's, it's all it's all part of the journey, and and you've got to start somewhere. Um, you know, I've never had an art lesson in my life, so I had to I had to work it all out myself. You know, I've never. It, it's, it was never sort of, um, I had no training, but I hope that again that um, it provides a, a sort of honesty in the work. Yeah, with, with oils, it's always been a medium for me that it's, it's, it's well established, it's got, it's got um, a nice longevity, a feeling of longevity, you know, it's, it's been, you know, artists have painted in oils for hundreds of years and it's, I think there must, there must be something about it, that's why I always wanted it, it feels like a grown up medium. Yeah. It feels like, uh, you know, it's a you know, proper, proper painter's music. Last year we were in Venice and, and Venice was just awesome, you know, and, and I really, you know, loved the whole feel of, that, of, the, of the city and that was just so, so inspirational as a painter, you know, I've heard of painters of old, but, you know, travelling and making trips to Venice and, uh, you know, I can see where they were coming from now, you know, and uh, this, just recently we went to Sorrento and, that was again purposefully. I, you know, I chose that place because I wanted to, you know, have to see the you know, Mount Vesuvius in the background and you know the, the sort of to see it at night all lit up and that and looking all on that coast. It's it's absolutely spectacular, you know, and it's the sort of thing that keep, keeps you sort of motivated to paint.
Yeah, my grandmother Peggy um, was a big part of uh, my, my and my brother's life when we grew up and uh, uh, she lost her husband very young and uh, well relatively young she was in her 40s and um, it was her stories about him we never met him but uh, it always stuck in my mind you know as a, as a, as a child I was I could never I, I always admired the fact that she never re she never remarried. She never had another relationship again in her life. You know that was, you know, to the day she died, that was that was just it was her and Lawrence. You know, and uh, it, it always stuck with me that, and that was the when I, you know, again that was one of the real fundamental um, sort of uh, in pieces of inspiration, shall we say, that, that that got me to start painting these and, and break away a little bit from the landscapes. Um, because I, I wanted some to produce work with some emotion, you know, more emotional content. Yeah, so Claire and I have been together now for 24 years, married for 21 of those, and for me, it's um, it's a strong and emotional part, of, you know, of my of myself. So I wanted to come up with something uh, you know, that really represented the idea of. Um, of Real romance and 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 love and genuine you know genuine love and uh, again it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable to say it because I don't want people to think I I just have this kind of um, super sickly sentimental view of it because I don't I I, I like I, which is the reason I often put quite dark backdrops to the work because I realise that it, it requires uh, effort and you know the ups the general ups and downs of life that people have and. Um, I want that to be represented in the work, but but there is, if there is, I like the consistent, strong theme that underlies every painting of their togetherness and their closeness, and uh, because that's what's important in my life. It's just, it's it's about for me, it's about finding a balance. It's you, it's it's lovely to have the um, the, the strong, positive message underlying everything, but it but there is a reality to to it as well, and and the reality is not always plain sailing. And, and that I, I want that to come across as well, uh, but but all, ultimately there is a you know the the overriding sentiment is a positivity and, and love and happiness. You know that's that that is there. You know that's that's got to be the the um, the strongest part of the image, which is why you know often the, you know the heart will be the the very strong focal point. Focal point. <laughs> I tied the uh, series Northern Romance because I'm a Northerner. My family are all from the North, and selfishly, that you know, we're looking with hindsight, I, I didn't want to eliminate 50% of the country by saying that. However, I think I think it's absolutely about time that uh, we introduce some Southern elements to the work. I tend to like, I, I, listen, I listen to books while I'm working all the time and uh, I'm not one for just super sentimental love stories but I do like uh, books which perhaps will be, I don't know, set, set in, in, sounds maybe a bit macabre, but set in wartime where there's a strong uh, relationship element going on there. That always seems to be strangely um, uh, the most interesting part of the story for me, you know, it, 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 it always has been. And, and you know, if, if I've listened or read books, uh, I find myself fascinated with um, people's relationships. It's, I find it really interesting and, and how uh, as, you know people can overcome um, very difficult circumstances and things like you know, and, and you know, suffer awful losses, but. When there's a strong um, relationship element in their lives, they they seem to you know it it, it it just feels like there's a strength there that, that perhaps they wouldn't have on their own. You know we've we've titled the exhibition "The Sky Is Not the Limit," and I'm I'm working towards you know taking things a little beyond where we might have gone in the past, and uh, I think using slightly. Uh, Dreamy-like um, inspirations will be something that I'm going to try and introduce. It's, a, it's an area that I've not gone in the past, so it's it's exciting for me as a painter to try something new, something out of the box, and it's uh, inspired by works that um, you know I've 
you know, love from the past and mm -hmm. things like that. I, you know, I love the works of uh, Randy McGree, Dali, and etc. You know, the surrealist. But so, it's kind of. I'm not claiming to start, a, you know, be the next surrealist painter, but it's nice to use influences on your own work, you know, to to um, to come up, you know, to create something new. I've always been conscious of that. I've been asked to do limited editions a lot, and um, from. Uh, clients, uh, galleries uh, alike, you know, and it's something I've shied away from a little bit because I don't want to confuse, you know, I am a painter, I'm a working artist, that's what I do, I, I turn up and I paint and that's, that's what I like to do and I don't, I don't like to confuse things too often but now and again I think it's, uh, it, it's, it's nice to give the collectors an opportunity to buy something which is uh, a little bit different, it's going to be, you know, I, I'm going to produce a piece which is completely unique um, and only available at this exhibition. They won't be able to get it anywhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be very, very limited numbers of them. I'm not, I'm not interested in producing masses of prints. Uh, I never have been, and each piece will be hand embellished. So I'll be overpainting in oils, and um, they'll be obviously hand signed, and we'll, we'll make a really special piece. There's going to be uh, a, a good eclectic mix of work, I would say. There's going to, I'm going to really make an effort to show the variety of uh, styles and, and subject matter um, that hopefully will, will give people a really uh, good, well, an opportunity to see works they probably have never seen before, you know, and, and um, there'll be you know, brand new things that I've never tried before that are going to be shown at the exhibition. Uh, we're going to do some really big pieces. I say we, it's just me. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to do some really big pieces um, which will have, you know, lots of content and, and you know, um, the usual themes, but perhaps we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll veer, off a little, veer off track a little bit and see, see where we go. integrity in every painting mm -hmm. and I don't want you know hopefully people will see that.